And I said the silverhead guy is going to be like all about himself. This is important. <laughs> Sorry, stop for a second. What? What? I guess you read. You read the word Titanic. Oh, so for a second there, I was like, yeah. I was like, why the fuck are we in the Titanic? <laughs> But, like, you just swung your head back. Yeah, it's like, why are we bringing up Titanic? <laughs> Don't tell me we'll be on a door, and I have to see, calculate how people can fit on the door with me. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, generous of you, Zero. Nine hours. Is this on a timer? Um, no, it's not like um, it's not like uh, what's it's their names, Adelaide or Lightning Returns or any of the games that are it's timed like Majora's Mask. Um, it's just a case of you progress the story and the time will just move as part of the story. Okay. It rang nine times, so nine o'clock then. I think it's nine p.m. I couldn't see anything when I tried to look out the window earlier. Uh, just before. Let's be oh, say. Okay. Um, remember the game itself. Is, I, I never remember the order, but it's like nine hours, nine persons, nine doors, or something like yeah. that. But like now we've got that introduced. We have nine hours, there's nine people, and there's nine doors. Yeah. If that is the case, then we would need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow. Do you now, Zero? Hey! You bastard! What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! By the way, uh, um, that guy won't stop shouting. Just um, because I want to also get it out properly. Like, what? What? Just do you have any theories about Zero in terms of like motivation and stuff? For okay, so if it's the whole people are nominated, it's um, a sport where people are currently being streamed and watching this in like the dark web. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Kind of, which is kind of like Super Game, where yeah, yeah, which yeah. people are watching it. Um, if it's that person actually selects these people himself, it's revenge. Okay, so your two theories are either kind of money through streaming it, and or revenge because I because it can't be just random selection and him just wanting to kill people because he they said they were nominated. Mm. So if the nominated have been throwing off where he nominated them because it's to do with whatever revenge he's trying to get. Um, which it could be that they hurt somebody, they could have hurt him, they could have hurt a family member or something like that. Or it could be like they were nominated by other people who have a grudge or just didn't like them or whatever. And it's like some kind of sport. And also you were saying that about connections that over the course of the story we learned that they're all connected to each other. We've already found one connection. Yes. So that um, the theory of more of revenge, it's in my mind, is more up there. Okay, you're leaning more towards the revenge part. But it might not be their revenge, it could be they're doing revenge for somebody else. As in, like, someone came to them, as in, like, this game could be, like, still an underworld game where someone nominates people that they want revenge on and people still watch it as sport. Fantastic. So it could be a combination of both as well. Okay, I just wanted to get that out there because people will love to hear your theories as the game goes on. I don't know if I'm right or wrong, I could be totally wrong, but my theory could change as the game develops, mm. as I learn more information. Yeah, I fully expect it to. Yeah. It'd, be, it'd be unreasonable if you got everything right right from the get-go. I do think sometimes you can like, I told you when I watched Happy, I saw the trailer for Happy Death Day. Oh uh, yeah, you knew who I was went, responsible. I yeah. was like, that's the person responsible. And so did my friend, me and my friend both said, it's that person, watch the movie, like, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't just, say too much. I won't, the, um, but others. like. <sighs> it just looks so suspicious in the trailer. Yeah, that's fair. Hmm. I never saw the trailer, you see, so. Might need introductions at some point. I say they won't do much after we escape. Too many questions. Who is Zero? What's the nonary game? What's it for? Is he some nut job? Because it's called the nonary game, which to me means they've done it more than one. Purpose. Oh, what, what makes you think that? Uh... Because it's like the nonary game, which which makes it more kind of like in my head like where the Squid Game thing comes in, where it's someone's watching it, like people are watching it as sport. Interesting. Hey, fascinating. Why can't you need to be part of this insane game? Because if, like, if it's, why call it a, like a nunner game, like give it a thing, say, or like... And he also said some of you know what it's about, didn't he? 
something like that. Yeah, I don't remember the specific word. Which but means someone, some people that might have been in this game before. Yeah, he mentioned like that they'd be familiar with it or something like yeah, that. Yes, so they've watched it or they participated in it before and survived before. Interesting. And the others. Why are these eight people here? And the most confusing of them all. Why is Akane here? Yeah, why is she here? I haven't seen her since elementary school. Why her? Why now? Coincidence? No. no yeah, way. the chances of you running into your childhood friend by chance in one of these situations? I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. Very well. Standing around here won't do us any good. Best we get moving, don't you think? Get moving? So it could be that someone here nominated them, but that means someone here would have to know every single person here. Yes, that would also have to be the situation, yeah. But so far, no one else seems to be saying that they know one specific person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I just love hearing these theories. Oh man, this is Are fantastic. Are you planning to open the numbered doors? Hey, wait! But don't tell me you're actually gonna do what this, this zero says. No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm saying let's find another way. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. That's true. I think the smart thing to do would be do what the game is. Well, I mean, you can understand their what? hesitation. Where yeah, I know, not but at least try it, and if it doesn't work, then try it another way. Oh, they're they going into a door, they can't really go back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we were kind of in a rush though, so we probably missed some things. Why don't we check out the lower floors first? We should see how deep this place goes. I can work with that. Then let's go. Mm, so I actually do have to do some exploring. Well, you're not personally going to be doing exploring. Whoa! You know, it's not like Danganronpa where you run around the hallway, like looking through the Hell? school or whatever. It's completely submerged. Damn. If the water level keeps rising like this, we're all going to drown. No, I don't believe that's something we have to worry about. Oh, isn't that interesting? See? The water's not flowing. That means the origin of the water has been stopped. Perhaps this Zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. What do you think of that? He said that our time limit was nine hours. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. And you're saying we won't sink till then? Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point to wishful thinking. <sighs> That's depressing. If we don't determine a way to advance from this point, yeah, he's we are taking stuck on leader on role as in like voice of reason. Yeah, which I did kind of guess about him. I could have said that he was going to be like, yeah, yeah kind of. Yeah. So. Looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusions? We might find something there. Huh, you're right. I think we should look at the metal doors by the big staircase too. They're pretty suspicious. No numbers on either door. And I don't see an authentication device either. Nope. It's locked. This one too. Damn, none of the doors are opening. Hey guys, over here. There's another door behind the stairs. <sighs> this one doesn't open either. We'll see about that. Hey, old man. Using force, oh. I see. Let's give it a outside. try. Uh, do you notice anything about this door? It has a keyhole. Yeah. It won't budge. I know it's that right away. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? You almost <laughs> gave me a heart attack, you know. Oh, sorry. It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's very well made. <sighs> Idiots. Try <laughs> using your brain first. Huh? She's saucy. Take a closer look. A keyhole? Right. It's obvious what we need to open this door. <clears throat> A key, huh? You got a problem? No, I just really doubt we'll find a key yeah. that easily. <sighs> That's true. Yeah, this room is massive. It's not like a small room. There's a mark on it. D does it mean something? It looks kind of like an eye. It does look like an eye. Hey, look! Over here, too! Hmm? More doors. I think they're elevators. There's an inverted triangle button by them. May as well try pressing it. Huh. Nothing. No. Maybe the power isn't on. Or to me this game is long, so I feel like there's a lot of puzzle reader. solving. There's a decent bit of puzzle solving. I think though, there's a strange mark that kind of looks like the zodiac symbols. Oh, interesting. What is this? 
But um, I was gonna say the second game is the longest out of all of them. It looks like a lowercase H with a dash drawn across the upper stem <laughs> of the H. This is the symbol of Saturn. Oh, that's what it looks because of the, it's Saturn Saturn symbol. Yeah, it's it looking for. Astrological symbol. Then the mark on the other door. I think that was the sun symbol. We saw the same symbols on A deck. Oh. We did. We did. I don't remember that. A deck, huh? huh? I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. You may as well check again since we're talking about it. There, the two doors next to the stairs. The one on the left had a keyhole okay. with a similar symbol engraved on it. She's right. It it looks similar to what we saw downstairs. This is an Earth symbol. Earth symbol. The horizontal line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents the prime meridian. So we see Saturn, Sun, and Earth. I see. Mm -hmm. Hmm. The ceiling. Metal plates. Huh. It's as if it's covering something up. Yeah. Perhaps nice. it was a dome of some kind. I wish we could get out through there. Be realistic. We need a lot of explosives to open that up. There's the windows fact. too. Huh. They're all covered. Actually, you would bring up the Danganronpa comparisons. The first Danganronpa game had these, didn't it? I think they did, yeah. Because they were all trapped in the school. We're trapped. All the <laughs> exits go because nowhere. Because unlike, I do know you're on the island in the second game, so you do go outside, and in the third game, you are in a school, but you can also go outside. Yeah, but then there's and these big machines that kind of stop you from going wherever you want. Yeah, yeah, but you can like go on school ground. Yeah, you can walk game. around a bit, yeah. So, yeah, so there was none of these like in the other ones, because in the first one, you were only allowed to school. Yeah, that is correct. Well, I'm sure they go somewhere. We just can't open them. See, no one's really throwing their true personalities yet because they're all just getting to know each other. Uh huh. Interesting. That's always how these games work. Do you know what I mean? Like their true personalities kind of come out later. You don't know that. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. No, I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what point would there be? Yeah. And we can open them. Well, two of them at least. Yeah, these doors. Oh, you mean the numbered doors. Hey, wait a minute. I think I said this earlier, but I don't think we should do that. We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. May as well give it a shot. Can't stay here forever. Yeah. Max, I'm in favor as well. No, oh, what was that sigh about? I'm trying to check. Thing. I guess I get where they're coming from, but I don't think they should focus all their time on this. I think they should try this, but then have a time limit, and if they can't do it, then they have to do what Zero wants. Well, that's what they're discussing right now, actually. But shouldn't we at least try? We don't know what will happen. We should stay here. We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sink. But they already wasted half an hour. Yeah. Uh... Hey, shut up! Before we try and decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. What's that? We need to exchange information. We don't know anything about each other. I want to know who you guys are, who you are, where you came from, why you ended up here. Don't tell me you aren't curious too. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. Jumpy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is Junpei. We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. Wait, stop. Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. Zero's probably watching us right now. What are you gonna do if he's listening in? Look, I... If these people have been selected, he probably knows a lot of this stuff about them already, so like... Possibly. But he does have a reason. Wouldn't that be bad? Hell yeah, it would! We don't know how much that bastard knows about us. Maybe he just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. So like, but he went to their houses, he clearly knows who they are. Well, we know he went to Junpei's house, we don't know where he went with the others. Mm, true. Maybe he'd tell us he had them, get us to do stuff, you know? But we still need to know what our names are. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names. Alright, then why don't we have code names? Code names? Yeah, we'll each pick something. So you're gonna have to learn like, these people's code I'll names. Seven. Seven? Why are you seven? 
because this bracelet number says seven. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think that. All right, I'm gonna be Santa. <laughs> Are you chumps no Japanese? No? Well, sun means three. So, I'll be Santa. You know, like Santa Claus. Fits, don't you think? What do you think? Do you think it fits him? <laughs> well, I guess he's with hair. <laughs> he's not fat as jolly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. Very well then. I'll go next, shall I? My bracelet number is one. Oh, that's obvious. Given that, I think ace seems appropriate. I'll be Lotus then. As I'm sure you all know, it has eight petals. Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is... Eight. I would appreciate it if you would call me Snake. Interesting choice there, Mom. <laughs> what, 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 what is this? A snake is like normally like a sneaky person. Like, hmm, interesting uh -huh. choice. My bracelet number is two. Since Ace has chosen cards, then I choose dice. Snake eyes, clearly. Which is particularly relevant given that I am blind. Oh! You can't see? I knew it. <laughs> Me next! I want to be Clover. Oh, four. Mm -hmm. You know, like a four leaf clover. Good luck, right? All right, my number's five. So my code name is gonna be. Well, I have one. It's not like there's any point to it now. <laughs> I mean, we all know your name already. You're Junpei. Oh. Uh, then you should all call me by my name, too. Because, I mean. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us it. <sighs> What's your bracelet number? It's six. All right, then. Uh, why don't we call you June? June? Yeah, six. Yeah, you know, it's the it's the sixth month of the year. So you're June. Also, my birthday's in June. Mm -hmm. Jumpy? Are you good with that? Uh, yeah. Okay, then. But now, it just So leaves. this is how everyone breaks down. One is Ace. Two is Snake. Get these names in your head. Three is Santa. Numbers. Oh god. <laughs> Four is clover. Five is You learn one. about it eventually. I'm just saying just focus basically. Seven is seven. And eight <laughs> is lotus. That means eight of us have revealed our bracelet numbers. The only one left is This chap. My glasses guy with hair like a bird's nest. You haven't said a thing so far, have you? Yeah, you can be like the most uncrawford person I say in this room. <laughs> <laughs> What number are you? I think he's nine. Um, hey, I'm talking to you. Isn't it obvious? There are nine people here, and you know who numbers one through eight are. I'm the only one left. So you're <laughs> that bit, nine? Sorry, that bit where he's like, I am the only one left. It kind really, of sounds like Shaggy. Yeah, I was about to say, that's really Shaggy <laughs> sounding, isn't it? Yeah. What's your code name? Code name? We just call him Nine. What do you want us to call you? We all made up names. You should too. I don't need one. Why not? Because I am not gonna stay here with you. I knew it. She's gonna be the most uncooperative person. You've got some sort of plan? I do. Yeah? What's that? You sure you wanna know? Yeah. All right. Let me show you. Look, you're pretty close all. I'm gonna do this! <laughs> hey! What the hell? I knew you it! You could be a creepy motherfucker! <laughs> Stay back! Ah. I told you. Yeah. If you get any closer, I'll cut her open! Uh. Yeah, that's right. Clover, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell are you trying to do? I told you, this is my plan. What are you gonna do to her, you sick son of a bitch? <laughs> worry, I'm not gonna do anything to her. If she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. <laughs> Slowly, that's right, just follow me. Here, verify. <laughs> the left, look on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? The one that says big. Place your hand on the scanner panel, the round part. What if I don't? 
Are you an idiot? What do you think? I could slit your throat right now. I'll kill you if I have to. All I need is your bracelet. <laughs> Just do it. Do it now. He really reveals himself to be a creepy bastard, like, right away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he plays his cards right at the beginning. Uh, okay, I'll do it. Like this. So we are learning this. Left hand on it, our bracelet number gets entered into the device. Then, should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Door five. But why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? He's the person who played before, or something. Maybe, yeah. He knows exactly what to do. Good. Good. You're done. Next. You, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet, right? Yes. I am. So? Then you're Put next. Put the math together. Just verify your number like this little brat did. He's nine, she's four, and he's one. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, five. So he's opening the five door. Yeah. What are you doing? Do it! I just wanted to make sure that that was in your head. Don't you care what happens to her? Okay, okay, just calm down. I'm coming over. Now, verify. All right, this is what you wanted, right? Now the device has both Clover and Ace's numbers, four and one. Which I'm guessing they have to go through that door with them though. Uh, that's what it says on the note, yeah. yeah. That all who... I can't remember the specifics, but all who verify must enter. 4 plus 1 is 5. It's the same as the number written on the door, but it won't open yet. Only 3 to 5 people can pass... So yeah, all those who enter door. must leave, and all who enter must contribute. That's the specific. So, the problem is, there's only two doors, isn't there? Correct, yes, there's only two doors. We have to leave behind. Uh, yes. That would be the case, yes. If, if like, three people go through there, that would leave six people, which means at most you could get only five people through the other door. If what Zero said is true, he needs one more person. Who? Who does he need? Get back! No! Farther! More than that! Okay. Oh. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm reading too many habit. Uh, don't tell me. Clover's four, and Ace is one. Added to the ninth man's nine. Gives you five. Nine is fourteen, and the digital root of fourteen, one plus four, is five. I went over this a moment ago with you, but this, yeah. that, this is just in case, like, I hadn't. <laughs> After that. Thank God you were all so cooperative. Now I can get out of this nightmare. Can he be the first one to die? That would be interesting, Good. wouldn't it? I don't need you anymore. <laughs> but Clover and Acer won't have to go through the door with them. Uh, yes, that would be Wait. the case. Here, she's all yours. He doesn't seem interested in that, though. Okay, have a good one, guys. What's that sticking noise? Oh, that's a very I'm good observation. Now. Well then. Goodbye! Clover, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Does that mean Clover and Ace can't go through a door now? Ooh, nice theories coming right here. Damn it! That bastard! Open, damn it! Shit! It won't budge. Do you hear something? Like what? Like some sort of beeping. You're right. I can hear it too. What is it? Why is it stopping? God damn it! Because they were supposed to enter with him. Mm -hmm. But there's an interesting line coming out, I believe. You, you lied! Lied? Yeah, who lied? Obviously, zero. What was supposed to happen? 
This is wrong! This is wrong! What is happening in there? Open the door, please! I'm begging you! Help me! Please get me out of here! Oh, so it looks like um, Lotus was correct not to open the doors. But here's the thing. Um, so he says you lied. Or he, yet, Someone told him he had to do this, obviously. There's another person in there that knows this game. Someone's lying in here, obviously. In the group or zero, because your first instinct was zero. Hobby in the group. Okay. Why? So it says Why engaged now, rather than, uh, rather than vacant. Mm. Engaged? Is it because it's occupied? Uh, oh my god, oh my god, there's no time left! Listen, I was lied to! He lied to me! He put me in here! It was him! He killed me! It was him! Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> 